North Korean leader Kim Jong-un embraced Russia's former defense minister Sergei Shoigu on a visit to Pyongyang, according to photos released by the North State News Agency KCNA early Saturday. The meeting took place the day before, on September 13. North Korean state media often report news a day or more after it happens. Shoigu's visit follows a high-profile visit by President Vladimir Putin to Pyongyang in June this year. One of the images from KCNA shows Kim in the driver's seat of a luxury car, which has a Mercedes logo on its front, and appears to have bulletproof protection, with Shoigu in the passenger seat. The former Soviet Union invaded Korea at the end of the Second World War and installed its leadership and supported its establishment as a separate Korean state in 1948. Countries in Central Europe were, Friday, bracing, for heavy rain and flooding. A low-pressure system that was formed in northern Italy has moved to Central Europe and is predicted to stay till Sunday and dump rainfall that meteorologists said could reach nearly record levels in some places, causing floods. The Czech Republic, Poland, Austria, Germany, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia and Croatia are to be among the countries to be affected. The Czechs, Poles and Germans are particularly worried about what might come as experts are comparing the current weather condition to the one in 1997 that caused devastating flooding in the wider region. At that time some referred to it as a 1,000-year flood or the flood of the century. Over 100 people were killed in Central Europe in those floods, 50 of them in Eastern Czech Republic where large sections of the land was inundated. In the Czech Republic, local authorities were erecting metal barriers or protective walls from sandbags. Water was released from dams to make space in reservoirs to help contain the floods. Citizens have been warned to get ready for possible evacuations. The biggest rainfalls were predicted for the eastern half of the country where they could reach the 1997 levels. The second largest city of Brno is among the places that have not yet built complex protection against flooding like Prague. Czechs were asked not to go to parks and woods as high winds up to 100 km per hour are forecast. Many public events planned for the weekend have been cancelled at the request of the authorities throughout the country, including soccer matches in the top two leagues. We have to be ready for the worst-case scenarios, Prime Minister Petra Fiala said after a meeting of his government's Central Crisis Committee. The wet forecast follows a hot start to September in the region as the world is just coming out of its hottest summer on record, breaking a record set just one year ago, and many scientists say 2024 could also become the hottest year on record. A hotter atmosphere, driven by human-caused climate change, can hold more moisture and can lead to more intense rainfall. Ačkoliv budeme věřit v to, že ta situace nebude tak dramatická, tak musíme být připraveni na ty nejhorší scénáře. Nic jiného by nebylo odpovědné a proto postupujeme tak, jak, tak jak postupujeme.